And so congratulations, a phenomenal yeah. round for you. You must be particularly pleased. Yes, good, uh, great start. Obviously, the front line was, uh, was, it was probably as good as I've played a long time. I seem to do, do everything right on the front line. I kind of struggled a little bit in the back line. I didn't really... I kept, Kind of landed in between, kind of on, in between clubs at times, and I didn't really get it, get it close enough to uh, to keep that momentum going. But obviously, I mean, no drop shots and uh, seven birdies, so I mean, I'm never going to, never going to complain with that. The difference between the front and the back nine for you was noticeable. Is it slightly easier, or was it simply you just didn't get it going in the back? I think I just didn't really get going on, on the back, you know, at least on, on 10, 10 and 11, I mean, it was a good, good position, of, uh, good tee shot, middle of the fairway, but I was right on the right on the mark for like a, like a full gap wedge, and you're trying to get it there, and you know it's going to spin back, and then to take the little wedge, you're taking a lot off it, and I had probably three or four of those on the, on the back nine, so it was difficult to get, you know, to knock them, knock them close, whereas the front nine, I just seemed to, I just seemed to land on good numbers, and, um, and knocked, you know, I just, it was easy to knock, to knock the wedges in close. After the front nine, though, the expectation must be there that you'll carry on on the back nine as well. How important is it then to keep patient and not go and possibly chase a number that's not there for the taking? Yeah, um, it's just I mean, it's old, an, old, an old saying that it's kind of one shot at a time, one hole at a time, but obviously there was a chance to go and shoot a real, a real low number, but we've, we've all been there. Sometimes you go on and shoot 61, sometimes you, and you, you might drop a couple of shots and end up shooting 67, so... Um, I was quite happy just to, you know, I picked off the, the, the birdie at the par five, a uh, good shot in there, I actually nearly made Egon, I nearly made birdie at the last as well, I mean, I still gave myself a couple of chances, but I kind of felt as if I didn't quite play well enough in the back nine to, uh, you know, to get, you know, to really get a, a real low number. Still, the West Coast is generally considered easier than the East, you must be happy then that you've taken full advantage of it. I think you have to, yeah, I mean, obviously the, the East Coast is, is quite a bit, it's quite a bit stronger, it's, uh, you know, it's a good bit longer, so you you know, there are a lot of holes you, you play. You know, you hit the, you know, the wedges in on the on the on the west coast are more kind of mid irons on the on the east coast. And it's probably slightly slightly uh, more challenging off the tee as well. Um, so I'm, you know, I know I'm going to to uh, to shoot. You know, good numbers on there. You, you've got to play really well right through the right through the bike where you can maybe get away with a wee bit more in the west. I think. Does it take some of the pressure off them tomorrow having to play the east? I suppose it does a wee bit. Um, I think, as you say, you have to, you know, try and take advantage of the West Coast because it's that that be a bit easier. So, uh, but that's it. That's it for now. So it's, we've got three, uh, three, three strong, three strong courses to play now. So um, I just, you know, as I said, it's it's good to get take advantage of it. But you know, I know it's obviously a, a different challenge now. It's not just the tournament this week. Open qualifying as well. Is that? Play in the back of your mind. I suppose it does. Yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's good for us. Get, sorry, uh, getting the opportunity um, to have an, you know a, an extra go. I didn't even realise that we could uh, that we could get through this week. So but I certainly, from if, if I'm still there or thereabouts uh, uh, come come Sunday, I'll certainly be in the back of my mind. Aye.